أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this session, I'm going to talk about text macros in Amos. Now, we would have seen something like this in maybe different papers or different analysis where we see these indices displayed on the canvas. Now, how do you get these fit indices on the canvas with the titles? It's pretty easy. What you need to do is, let me first delete these ones so I can add new ones. Okay. Now here is my model and I want the details right here, maybe somewhere else. So what you need to do is you just need to add figure captions. Click here and then click here. Let's say this is my measurement model. Just press OK and now here it is. If you want to move it, just select your move objects button or toolbar option and move it. Now let's add the other details. Before we add the text macros, let's have a look at them. Now here are our text macros. Now in order to add chi-square, what you need to do is you just need to have this particular shortcut backslash and then cmin. So that's your chi-square. That's your text macro or a code for chi-square. For AGFI backslash AGFI backslash AIC, backslash BCC, and for all of them, the link will be shared in the description. All of them are here. Now let's add a few. For example, I'll click the title again and put it here. Let's say I want to add for chi-square. So backslash cmin. Let's say I want to add for degrees of freedom. So backslash degrees of freedom. Let's say I want to add for CFI. So backslash CFI, TLI, backslash TLI, RMSEA, backslash RMSEA, let's say GFI, so backslash GFI. Similarly, you can put all of them onto your canvas. Now, if you want to move it, obviously, you can easily move it here. Now, let's run the model. Let's go to our output here, view diagram, and here are your results. Similarly, you can add the rest of them, whatever is suitable for your analysis. I hope now you know how to add these indices onto your canvas or model. Thank you very much.